So how do you pose for your shots? For this instance, we're gonna have and uh, we're gonna change the position of uh, Brandon and Twilight here. So what we're gonna do here is that we're going to go to Motion Editor, and we're gonna go ahead and switch Brandon uh, with Twilight. So let's go ahead and switch them. Make sure their feet are actually located on the floor. And they are, it looks like. So let's go ahead and switch them. Oop. Rotate. And then we go to Twilight. Have her go forward. And rotate this way. If you're wondering how fast I am switching between models, I use the control key to switch between bone modules. Bone modules are what you see on the dots on the screen whenever you select a particular model. Selecting part one in particular will select that current bone and you'll be able to rotate it and transform it in a way you see fit. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the thing, you, you might see everything perfect and such, but there is a such a thing as being too perfect. So what we're gonna do here Yep, that looks good. All right, so now we have Brandon and Twilight. All right, to do, to change the posing, make sure you do not set to motion editor, but instead a graph editor. And for everything that you have made so far, I want you to put a placeholder bookmark right where it is so that I can keep track of where the current location is. Be sure to save often. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to have Brandon sit down and Twilight sit down. To do this, I am going to go to first Twilight. I'm going to I'm going to choose Twilight since she is first on the list. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and push this little plus button. Now, uh, what I want her to do is sit down in a normal way with her Ryan legs. Where do I find the legs? Well, maybe it's just behind the thing called legs. Now, you might want to do right legs and left legs right off, but this is actually a grouped item. If you do it now, everything will rotate it within it. So go ahead and put one up, uh, thigh, select thigh, and now it should go up like this. And I'm going to go ahead and do it below the belly so it has enough room to, to expand. Uh, I'm going to bring up the left leg a little bit like so. Actually, that's probably good. So let's go ahead and do the same thing over the other side. Make sure there's enough room. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate her tail. So uh, let's go to tail, tail base. Gonna rotate it just so slightly like this. And I'm gonna also go this way so it looks like it's going, wrapping around her bodice, body. All right, now I'm gonna go to her body and go to this root transform thing. Keep an eye on this thing, because we're gonna be using that a lot. We're gonna, this is her entire base. So we're gonna rotate her entire self like this. Put her up like this. Have her chest going down like this a little bit now. Now I'm going to change her a little bit, but we just need the reference. Like right now, she I don't think she is sitting on the chair fully. You can also use pelvis to rotate that. Pelvis and uh, root transform are your main rotators in these kind of situations. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. Rotate. Let's see. Posing for characters takes a lot of time and patience, and often a lot of trial and error. Now I know that you're not as spectacular a poser as I am, but it just takes practice. Like any other good thing that you have to try, you only get better if you practice. We still have the wings that are outwards. How do we control those wings? Well, instead of animating the entire wings, maybe I suggest you hit the right click button over here, right click over here, 
Uh, set body groups, right ring, and there'll be two. You want the ones that are closed. So let's go ahead and set them as closed for both wings. Right ring and left wing. So as you can see, it was taking a long time to uh, uh, gather everything around. But basically, if you want to control the eyes, go to the eyes and to view target and hit the shift button while you're hitting the uh, this blue dot right here and on her face like that. And I'm going to repeat the same steps for Twilight Sparkle here. Hitting, hitting the control button actually uh, selects all the bones, as you might remember or not uh, going to eyes view target if you hit up it will go up however if you go down it won't always go to his face so you have to hit the shift button it will be on his face there you go this concludes how to pose in source filmmaker just you know grab one of these bones here and just you know rotate it and then uh, you know, commit to it by hitting this little bookmark button over here. Stay tuned because the next one I'm going to teach you about animating.